game double tap good morning everybody mike here we're playing the ensign this is part one this game has some amazing open world investigation and adventures little bosses mini bosses it has a survival mechanism built in you have to survive you have to have water you have to have food you have to have a camp where you can bring your items to you have to increase your item storage. You have a relentless creature that is chasing you throughout the world, like a Jason Voorhees kind of thing, or a Freddy Krueger. And it's extremely powerful, and it keeps coming back in stronger and stronger iterations. And it pinpoints on you, and it is not silly. It knows how to find you, and it will kill you. On top of that, you also have to listen to the drunken lore of your fallen commander who is near you and your campsite whose stories sound a whole lot like galactic domination and so listen to his lore at your own risk it's not pretty and you my friend are something of an enigma again if you check out my thumbnail it's got some very beautiful art there you'll see one side of the split image of the ensign as a human and the other side a split image of something else but if you want to know what that description is you'll have to read my description again my description sorry i'm adjusting my mic my descriptions have a cool number of easter eggs in them so definitely go check them out it is Sunday morning, 8.30-ish. I am just recording something different because I was in the mood. This game does not have a very good save. So if you're going to play the Ensign, I must warn you, this save is unstable. So you could lose your progress. So why do it? Well, why do any video game, right? We play games because we play games, right? I play games because I play games. And I just thought I'd give the Ensign a bit of a try. If I lose, we'll just restart. Um, it's really hard to find the reset button. Be nice if it did, but this game isn't in development right now. It's a complete game, but it doesn't have any active updates or development. So I gotta give you all the bad news right now. Also, it's exceedingly difficult. So that's the third piece of bad news. And four, there isn't any real clear tutorial but it's a, a semi-tutorial built-in, so that's... Again, I just wanted to get all the bad news out of the way, so you're not going to be perplexed at why uh, strange things are occurring. Um, but things that I really love about this game, it has a very, very tightly wound survival system. It's clean, it's tight, it's, it's challenging, it is not easy. It also has some really magnificent exploration built in. And it also has some really cool equipment you can get. And it's got an amazing open world map that takes time to get used to. A lot of tapping, a lot of text reading. So you might notice I need to think about things. But this game requires a lot of practice. If you really want to succeed, you've got to practice moving in the open map. Again, this is a classic OG text RPG open world adventure. This is not for beginners. You might want to also try a dark room. Now that game is incredibly stable and its save works perfectly. So if you're looking for another open world game, you might want to check out A Dark Room, which I've played on the main channel game. I'll try to link it in my description, but no promises, but I will try to link it eventually. Because I'd like you to be able to watch me play the original Dark Room, and I also have a playlist of the Ensign. I played it quite a bit. Yes, I was rather frustrated at the end of my playthrough of the Ensign because of the save um, instabilities. Double tap coffee. We're almost out of coffee, so we're going to be going to tea this week. 
I don't get paid to the later this week, so it's going to be rough times. Rough, rough, rough times. Anyway, we're keeping saving, trying to save up money for our computer. We'll be doing some fundraising. Um, I have a little bit more news, maybe tomorrow. I don't want to get into too much news today because I want to see how far I get in the ensign. And then what I'd like to do is record a couple more games this morning while I have a nice, quiet Sunday morning. Thank you to My Noise. Got a nice little lovely Andes Mountain tune. Nice little sound effects of water plus um, kind of a flute or hum, some kind of flute of some kind. It's quite beautiful. And yeah, that's what we're working with this morning. No sound effects, it's too early. So we'll just have to do our thing. Hope you liked the Lost Air. Drop the Lost Air episode yesterday, part two. Yep, I got very cheeky. So if you're interested in me role-playing a frat boy, you can definitely check out Lost Air part two. I had a lot of fun with it. I do love role-playing. So no, that isn't my true personality. So if you're watching me play those games, um, yeah. (laughs) I just want to make sure people know I am playing a personality when I play my games. So be aware of that so don't send me any long jerky snarky messages i'll just delete you i don't i don't take well to trolls <laughs> but yeah i do get people who think oh my god why did you do that i'm like it's a game i'm playing a game i'm having fun i don't have to do what you want me to do i don't have to act the way you want me to do i'm not a robot i'm a human And when I want to play a game, I play the game the way I want to play the game. If you want to play a game 100% politically correct, then go ahead and do so. No one's stopping you. But um, I choose to play games the way I play games. You know, people love it or leave it. It's your choice. I don't care. It's your choice. Do what you want to do. If you, you like what I do, awesome. You don't like what I do, awesome. That's all good. We're at 53 subscribers. Heading toward number 54. We've been at 53 subscribers for a minute. And I'm going to start thanking people for subscribing because I actually found a way to see who subscribed. So I'm going to take all those names and mention it. Um, Like I said, I really appreciate all you subscribers. It's really nice. Maybe one day when we grow Double Tap, we'll actually have a Patreon and all that stuff. Though it's not an accessible format, I'll probably get some help. I'll have to probably pay somebody to help me set it up, which is unfortunate, but that's how it goes, right? All right, uh, and what will we do on our Patreon for Double Tap? Probably more cheeky content. (laughs) No doubt, lots of cheeky content. All right. All right, let's get going here. We have some lore to get through. My speaking rate is at 60%. No, it isn't. 65%. 60%. Lines. Words. Characters. Vertical nav. Headings. All right. I like to check everything now. I do my checklist now. I appreciate you folks reminding me to keep, to bring my speaking rate down. It also gives me time to um, stretch my neck or back. When my speaking rate is slower, the text is going slower, gives me more time to relax, gives me more time to drink my coffee, lets you all hear it clearly. It's just uh, better that way. Um, the sun has risen. It is, like I said, a little bit after 8.30. It is incredibly quiet on Sundays in my neighborhood. The church bells should start ringing pretty soon. Uh, I haven't heard them in a few days. So I think the local church is on vacation. So. I have not heard the church bells. Talk to Admiral. Button. All right. So Admiral was one of the main characters, and he has a very interesting history. So you'll be discussing a lot of things with him. Like I said, play the game. Don't expect to do well. This is a very difficult game. So I would tell you, you can create a map for yourself with notes. But again, that's the more advanced tactic. For now, just try to figure out what you're doing. Get used to the controls. Don't try to get too minimaxy. This is not a game you want to put too much effort into controlling every outcome. 
You want to get the gist of it, the play of it, and then realize that it's going to erase your save. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. So be aware of that. I warned you, right? I've warned you. So if we play, it's very likely when I come back to play again, that a save will be degraded. It does happen. Or corrupted is the way you speak about saves. I've had it happen. It was very frustrating. It was very disappointing, but it happens. Again, this is an older game, maybe four or five years old, maybe maybe longer. It could be five, six years old. I'm sure somebody in the comment knows. If you'd like to reach out to the developer, that is something you can do. Um, I'm not going to. I've already I've already fought these battles, folks. <laughs> Almost half a decade ago. <laughs> This is just for fun. Awake. Heart pounding. Just a nightmare. Let's, let's begin. Heading not found. Awake. Heart pounding. Just a nightmare. Heading not found. Heading not found. Talk to Admiral. Button. Okay, this is a swipe, so headings are not going to work. Let's try vertical navigation. Audio ducking. Volume. Speaking rate. Words. Characters. Vertical navigation. Awake. No. Heart pounding. Vertical just navigation a nightmare. does seem to jump us up. Uh. Awake. Heart pounding. Just talk to Admiral. Button. Yeah, four finger tap top and bottom does work. Talk to Admiral. Button. All right, let's get the story going. Talk to the Admiral. T the Ensign. The Admiral kneels from exhaustion. Says the war is lost. Says that wanderer destruction ends here. Ellipsis. Button. There's a lot of ellipsises. The wanderers cannot be defeated. The Admiral's resolve has weakened. Pathetic. It's never over. Button. All right. So we have a little conversation with one of our fallen comrades. And again, this is a very complex story. You'll get the gist of it as we go. A dark room. Button. You can also double tap that dark room. That will take you to a dark room, which is another game. So you can locate it here. A dark room. Button. It's never over. Button. All right. Let's just go. Have to make it to the starship and call for reinforcements. Can't go thirsty. This swamp water will have to do. All right. So we have, we're going to take some swamp water. And yes, thirst is extremely important to manage. Fill flask. Button. All right, let's fill the flask. A dark room. Button. Fill flask. Button. The Admiral reluctantly extends a hand. A few meager scraps of food. And you need to have food. Now, a thirst will, as I recall, happen first. Thirst is more dangerous. Food, slightly less dangerous, but both are serious things you need to keep track of. And on top of that, you have a very tiny microscopic inventory. So backpack management on top of a very tight survival mechanism. Take food, button. Let's take the food. Controls he are simple. To follow the compass. Controls are simple, accessible. You're going to be doing a lot of cardinal directions. So if you hate cardinal directions, go back. <laughs> go back. Take compass. Button. Let's take the compass. Receiving items is as easy as double tapping. As the items are clearly marked, there are buttons. And yeah, don't expect a glossy tutorial. There is none. A dark room. Button. There's some minimal tutorial elements, though. Take compass. Button. Death awaits. Their humanity. This world. Makes them strong. Embark. Button. Death await. A murky swamp. So, when you leave this small little encampment, you can go... Once you walk out, you're going to be on what they call the world map. And the way you navigate that map is by swiping three or four times until you determine what direction you want to move. This camp will always be here, as far as I know. Again, you may have had different experiences. You may have completed the game. You may have a different version. So be aware there are some discrepancies, depending on what version you've played, have played, are going to play. Now, as long as I've played this game, I've gotten far, I've 
died. I've done many different battles. It's exhilarating. It's fun. It's exciting. It's challenging. It's difficult. But, and it has a very dark storyline, but it is incredible. This is an incredible game. Don't let its older, more mature gangster profile scare you away. This is a truly epic game in many ways. Death awaits. Their humanity. This world makes them strong. Embark. Button. A dark room. Button. A dark room. Embark. Button. Death awaits. Their humanity. This world makes them strong. Embark. Button. Let's go with... Let's embark out. Em the ensign. Two finger double tap. Magic tap. For map. Navigation controls to move north, south, east, and west located at the bottom. Swipe right to navigate to them. So you swipe and then you double tap. Right? It's all about that double tap. All right. So we're out in the regular world. We're also going to be told how much food we have and how much water. Do not run out of water. If you think you're going to run out, get back to your camp. Status button. And there's our status button. That's going to tell us what situation we're in. Move north. Magic tap status button. Let's hit that status button. Status. Bag 20 slash 100. Heading. That's our bag. 20 slash 100. Don't get excited. It may seem like you have a big bag. It will fill up so fast. Fists. Level one. That is your weapon your hands so yeah you're asking me what are we a monk well we're something you'll have to figure that out for yourself food two that's our food we don't have much food but it lasts slightly longer than water 25 of 25 hit points that's our hit points it isn't much and that's what you start off with heal for 10 hit points consumes one food food left two button all right our food heals our hit points so if you start taking damage, take some food and that will heal you for 10. Close. Button. Close. Let's close button. that. Close. The Admiral screams in pain. Heard from miles away. Okay, so this is a pop-up box. You're going to get these pop-up boxes. If you're visually diverse, you'll see a square in the middle of the screen that is white. What exact color is inside of the box, I don't know. But as far as I remember this game, it's just black and white. So if you are visually diverse, you might see some small text elements and minor graphics and symbols, but I do not believe there's any imagery here I need to describe. This is a text-based game, so any unintended visuals or graphics I don't describe because I can't see them. And that doesn't mean it isn't 100% accessible. It just means it's not necessary for the description and play of this game. So anything that is on my channel that is a bit of graphics, if I know it's there, I describe it. If I don't know it's there, I can't describe it. So if you are looking for authenticity and 100% accessibility, it's here. But there may be some graphic elements you might want to ask someone who might be able to see those images you can always ask somebody if you want to know exactly what those things are again i describe everything so this is a voiceover game to me it isn't a graphic based game at all and my coffee's almost done but again uh, i i do spend the first episode of any new series talking a lot about it so if that is not your cup of tea, I can understand that. I can get with that. Uh, I'm cool. If you want to fast forward this VOD 20 minutes until you get into the main meat of this, uh, be my guess. Okay, button. The Admiral screams in pain. Heard from miles away. Okay, button. Okay, Admiral's probably dead. Two finger double tap. Magic tap. For map. Navigation controls to move north, south, east, and west located at the bottom. Swipe right to navigate to them. All right, so this map is going to give us more information the more and farther we move out. So you're going to want to choose one direction when you first start. Don't go all over the place because you're going to get lost. So what I usually do is I go north because there are, what I've learned is there's a lot of small settlements that you can easily gather food and water. All right, there's another thing to keep in mind. Well, excuse me, you can't carry water. You can only carry food. All right, so, and you also can carry weapons and armaments and ammo, etc., etc. But I just want to let you know, water has to be 
refilled. So you can't carry extra tanks of water with you. So there's a lot of things I'll make mistakes about. There's a lot of terminology I'll be wrong. Uh, as I get more practice, I'll start correcting those. So again, watch each episode. Uh, I prefer if you watch the playlist. I always tell everybody, watch my playlist. I'll try to link those soon in certain areas, but um, watch the playlist because that's a better chance for you to get everything. Status, button, move north. Magic tap for Matt. Let's button. go north. Move north. A murky swamp. Oh, we went back up into... Okay, so now I've learned something. So you it's random which direction you come out when you leave your camp for the first time. So we actually moved up north and we moved right back. Now there is a map and I need to, okay, I need to activate the map that tells me where everything is. The Admiral rests beneath a canopy. Wind stores, button. The Admiral rests beneath a canopy, wincing from the winds of battle. Okay, so we went back to the camp. So I might as well explain what's going on here. When you come back to the camp, your water is resupplied. As far as I remember, the Admiral will be there laying down until he isn't. You have something called a stores. A stores is where you can put your spare items that don't fit in your inventory. Um, your stores doesn't have unlimited space. So that's all I can really remember. Stores, button. Let's go enter that. Stores. See, see what's in there. A murky swamp. Supplies will be safe here. Okay, when they say supplies will be safe, that is not true. I've had my supplies disappear, degrade, be corrupted. That's not true. If you want to really just play this game, just accept that your supplies are not safe here. All that information is incorrect. Collect button. What that is is that there are some bugs in the game. You just have to play with them or don't play. Collect button. Supplies will be safe here. Collect button. Collect button. Let's see what's in here. Loot, equipment, bag, 20 out of 100 total capacity. Items are listed below, along with an option to leave or take the item. Option to continue or run away. Located at the very bottom of the screen. So this is the tutorial that's built in. Their inventory tutorial is quite good and it tells you everything you need to know. Take all loot, button, take, button, food, ground, zero. So the food will be placed on the ground. So you can take whatever's here. You can place items here. You can come back and get, grab items here. Equip, two, store one food, button, continue, button. Okay, and you can store your food here. Store one food, continue, button, continue, button. I think you hit continue to get out. A murky swamp. And now we can leave. The Admiral rests beneath the canopy, wincing from the wounds of battle. Stores, button, cook, three flash, button. Oh, we can cook, um, not sure. Lead, button, cook, three flash, button. Yeah, there is a little cooking in this game, which is unusual, right? Old school games with cooking. But yeah, you can cook. I don't know if that gives us more food. Store, cook, three flash, button, lead. Button. I haven't done this, played this game in a long time. Cook, three flash. Let's cook, button. see cook. if that three. makes any difference. Don't have the supplies. Okay, we do need supplies to cook. So I do believe we need something, I think spices or some other elements. Okay, button. Uh, we need, we need, okay, you're gonna need components to do a lot of activities. So again, this is a complex game. Okay, button. Which I love. A murky right. swamp. The Admiral rests beneath the stores. Button, cook, three flat, lead, button. Lee, We're gonna button. go ahead and leave. Leave. A week passes by. Have to make it to the ship. Okay. So there's a time passing. Don't ex don't ask me. All I know is when you do certain things, you're on a timer, and things just start happening, and they happen fast, and they're all bad. So you're on a timer. <laughs> Again, some of this will make sense if you play a dark room. So I. Will I play Dark Room for the channel? Oops, my microphone just fell off. Give me a second here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Dark Room is a long game. So if I'm in the mood, I still have it on my phone. I've got all these games on my phone. I've had these games on my phone since 2018. So yeah, I might, I might, um, 
I might break out Dark Room. We'll see. We'll see if I'm in the mood. I might give it a try. It's been a long time since I've played a Dark Room. It's a fun game, though. Okay, button. I've got a couple of games I'm going to be breaking out. I'm going to be breaking out... Probably I'll break out Dark Room. I'll be breaking out Home Quests. I've been dying to break out Home Quests for a while. I want to go back and play the whole thing again. I mean, it's an... I mean, I've already beaten it. I mean, I've destroyed it. There's nothing else I can get from it. But for those of you who've never seen me play a home quest, I might replay it again. I mean, that game's got a ton of views on my main channel. I mean, some of those videos. I'm going to try to link those too when I play home quests. I might just start home quests from the beginning. For those of you who have never played it before. So you can see what to do. Okay, button. A week passes by. Ha okay, button. Two finger double tap. Magic tap for map. Navigation controls to move north, south, east, and west located at the bottom. Okay, Swipe two right finger to navigate double to tap is going to bring up our map. So two fingers spread apart, and I think you double tap and your map comes up. Here we go. Swipe right for map information. Use the escape gesture to close the map, or use the close button at the bottom. <coughs> okay, I don't know. Let's see. Compass points northeast. Unexplored. Three clicks north. Okay, there we go. So we got our map. So when you double tap with two fingers, not like single tap, but double tap with two fingers, you'll bring up this map, which tells you where everything is. You have to memorize where those things are. <laughs> so it takes a little practice. Unexplored, unexplored, three clicks north. So we have something unexplored, three clicks north. Now a click is one screen worth of movement. So when you're out of your map and you're moving, you're going to move up a whole screen. That's one click. Move up again. That's two clicks. Move up a third time. That's three clicks. In or about. There's some little variance there, but you'll get used to it. Unexplored. Four clicks up. Then I'm swiping to the right as we hear more map information. Unexplored is what you want to find. You want to locate everything around your camp. Unexplored. Three clicks east. There's something east. Now, if you hold your phone up in profile mode, to your left is west. To your right is east. To your top of your head is north. To your chin is south. Okay? Now, this game, of course, is held in profile mode, not landscape mode. So if you're playing this on a tablet, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to experiment, but um, I assume you might be playing this on your iOS. But if you're playing on your tablet, uh, I would probably say lock your screen rotation. I don't lock my screen rotation because I play. I like to watch Netflix on my tablet. And Netflix has a big bug that doesn't let you properly exit or enter videos when its screen is locked, when the rotation is locked. It's just some accessibility issues. It's it's so minor, but very annoying that I don't deal with it. So I just unlock the rotation. But again, uh, sometimes certain apps have an issue with uh, screen rotation with voiceover active. All right, so let's go. Uh, Cause certain buttons get squished on tablets, you know, on iPads, in other words, so. Unexplored, three clicks west. House, two clicks south. Okay, south has a house. We might want to go south. House, one clicks south, two clicks east. So there's a house, and there's also a house, one click south, two clicks east. So there's two houses, and this is important. The more you swipe, the more information you get. Terrain. Now, that was the locations of note. Now, once you swipe again, it will bring terrain information. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so what I recall is that terrain affects your survivability. So I think more, ter more difficult terrain costs you more food and water. But uh, it's been a while since I played, so I don't recall. Forest to the north, south, east, and west. Now, once you hit terrain, it's going to just read off all the terrain surrounding you. You're going to have to memorize that. Fields, two clicks south, one click east. 
Okay, now there, after we leave the forest, there are fields. So make a mental picture. So you figure our campsite is surrounded by forest because it's secluded, right? It's secret. Now outside of our campsite, two clicks, there's there is just plains. Forest, fields, two fields, clicks off, excuse me. one click east. So fields are more open. So uh, line of sight, um, length of field of sight, I don't think that plays a part. Barons, two clicks north. Now barons are gonna be a little drier. I do believe you use up more water there. Close map, button. And then you got this part to close, close map, map, button. So that's as far as we can see. The more map we open, the farther out we can explore. You don't lose water and food unless you're moving. So don't worry. If you're worried that while you sit there, you're losing food and water, no, you're fine. That doesn't happen. Um, though this game does seem to have a weird internal timer. So don't ask me. I didn't write it. I didn't code it. Close map. Button. Let's close your map. Two finger double tap. Magic tap for map. Uh, Navigation let's go controls south. to move north. South status. But move north. Ma move west. Ma move south. Magic tap for let's map. Let's go south Button. to get to that house. Move south. Magic tap. New landmarks. Water. Nine units. Food. Two units. Hit points. Twenty five of twenty five. Compass. Points northeast. Unexplored. Four clicks north. Unexplored. Three clicks south. Unexplored. Three clicks east. Unexplored. Three clicks west. Swamp. One click north. House, one click south. House, two clicks east. Terrain, forest, one click west. Forest, one click south. Forest, one click east. Fields, one click south. One click east. Barons, three clicks north. Okay, every time you move, you have a outward radiating map status that tells you everything around you within two clicks. The more you explore, the bigger that's going to expand. Now that's where it can get really tough because it, it can be quite overwhelming. So you don't have to listen to all the information of the map. You can always stop it. You can two finger single tap to stop that information and or you can just do something else. So if you feel a bit overwhelmed by the amount of information, you can always stop the information from happening. Uh, what I've found to be the most helpful is to create a spatial picture in your mind. Use the landmarks. So when it says new landmarks, that means you've uncovered something different. That's important because new landmarks means potentially new things to discover. Remember, it's going to first tell you of new landmarks like houses, buildings, caves, things like that. Then it's going to move into terrain explanations. So again, you have to wonder how our character is able to notice all this. But so we have some kind of line of sight. What that is exactly is something you have to discover. Move east. Magic tap for map. Button. So we could go east to that house. Let's go south and get the house below us. We'll try to come back and do the east house. What I would do if I were you is don't zigzag. Keep your paths in single cardinal directions. Go all south, go all north, etc. If you zigzag, you're going to get a little confused. Also, keep in mind your return trip can be complicated because there is an instability in directional finding. When you move up and down the map, left and right, east and west, there is a discrepancy in traveling and pathways. Sometimes it feels like you're not going back exactly straight because you can pass your locations that you're looking for. So it's very important. Utilize your map constantly. I know it's annoying, but it's the really only way you can navigate in the open world is you have to, you have to manage your map and your compass perfectly well as practice it as much as possible again that's why i said don't try to win the game the first time out just play and have fun die lose it'll restart you there's no penalty i mean i as i recall this game is free it may not even be on the uh, app store i mean if you haven't picked this game up 
I get it before it falls off. Because a lot of these games, at a certain point when they're not developed for anymore, they will not be available on the App Store. So, again, what I would say, all these OG games, OG games I play on Double Tap, if you have, pick them up because there's a chance that they will not be on the App Store forever. Not to scare you, but I just mean there's a lot of games that have been removed because they were just, you know, not supportable anymore. But grab them and play them while you still can before they disappear. That's uh, really important, in my opinion. Move east. Magic tap for... Move south. Magic tap for map. Button. Move east. Move south. Magic tap for map. Let's go south. Button. I think we have a house here. Moves. An old house. All right. So, the landmarks you discover take up the whole cardinal. Once you move in that cardinal direction by double tapping and heading in that direction. So, let me walk you through that process one more time. When you leave your starting location, you will wind up in a random direction. In this case, my swamp starting spot was to my north. So to get back there, I would just select a direction and then double tap. My character will walk back in a direction that I say or walk forward or walk away. So keep in mind your character is in the middle of the screen and then the directions and information are around you 360. But there are only four directions you can move, so you can't move in between. You can't move northeast. You can't move northwest. You can't move uh, southwest. And you can't move southeast. So you can't move diagonal directions. If you want to make a diagonal movement, you're going to have to go one direction and then cut to another direction to create that diagonal movement. Another thing, whenever you move, you're losing resources. So make sure you have enough resources to get back to the swamp until you've gotten your character improved and upgraded and leveled so that you can have more items. Again, buildings usually recover your water, but food must be found or beaten off of monsters or recovered from the Admiral or just in treasure chests of various kinds. I hope my tutorial is useful to all of you. Again, there are hundreds of nuances built into the Ensign, which is spelled E-N-S-I-G-N, which is an Admiralty term, which, or I guess you'd call it a Navy term. It's a low, I think it is a low level officer. I think it is the beginning officer. Um, to me, it refers more to a starship, which you think about Star Trek. So again, uh, again, these are all mysteries. These are all fun kind of things to figure out. Conjecture is key here. Using your imagination is also key. These are, these are some of the classic games, OG games that require a lot more imagination than anything else. So you're definitely, you're definitely going to want to use your imagination when you think about what's going on here. Put in some my noise, relax, take your time. All right, so the house is here. Again, when you come to a new landmark, it takes up the whole information. Once you leave this landmark, you have to decide what direction you're going to travel. Once you leave that direction as I'll show you then you're going to be going toward a new place you can always come back to the place you left so don't worry but again be aware of discrepancies sometimes things are not exactly where you left them that's a little problem with this game locations and landmarks don't fluctuate much but they do fluctuate a little I know it's confusing but let's just say don't expect things to be rock solid where you left them. All right. Uh, is that a challenge built in by the developer? I don't know. It's just part of the game. An old house remains here. Once white siding yellowed and peeling, the door hangs open. There's some really cute and uh, cool descriptions of things. So 
That accessibility is really nice. Typical text-based RPG. They all have pretty good writing in them, so definitely enjoy that. And you can swing it down to slower word-by-word -word navigation. If there's something that sounds a little weird for your voiceovers, I have Samantha. So Samantha does read things a little queerly at times. So what I do is I just do some word-by-word -word navigation and have her uh, reread it. Of course, you can always swipe to the left and back to the right to hear the information. VoiceOver 101. An old house. An old house remains here. Once white siding yellowed and peeling. The door hangs open. Go inside. Button. Leave. Button. You could leave or go inside, so you got that choice mechanism built in. Leave. Button. Go inside. Button. But I would suggest going inside. Go inside. An old house. The house is abandoned, but not yet picked over. Still a few drops of water in the old well. All right, so there we go. There we go. There's the water. So you want to resupply your water. That means you can stay out longer. Loot. Button. Uh, loot is going to take whatever is here. Um, you can also decide what you don't want. So if there's extra food you don't have inventory space for, you can leave it behind. One of the strategies later comes that you're going to want to leave breadcrumbs around. You can't take everything with you, but you're going to need to have places to stop and resupply. These are what I call your networks of abandoned houses. Think of yourself in a, po a post-apocalyptic world where there aren't supermarkets, there aren't stores, there, are, there, there isn't uh, online ordering, there isn't delivery services. So you have to kind of leave food where you can find it because you're going to need it if you're going on a long expedition. And you'll need to come back and get that food. So you're going to need to really learn how to navigate your map and you're going to need to learn how to navigate your map back to your landmarks like a house loot button let's go ahead and loot loot equipment bag 20 out of 100 total capacity items are listed below along with an option to leave or take the item option to continue or run away located at the very bottom of the screen okay and that is true once you interact with an item a house or whatever you're going to hear a title this old house this whatever and then once you double tap that, you're going to have access to what's in the items. So you'll have a chance to take everything. If you don't like what's there, you can leave it alone. You can also place stuff in your bag into that area. It's like a mini storage of some kind. Take all loot button. Take button. So you could take all loot. You could just take individual items. Knife durability, 53%. <laughs> okay, so there's a knife here. Now, durability is a big issue in this game. So I'm explaining things as they come along. Durability is a problem. Every time you hit something, you're going to lose durability. Every single strike against a monster, you're going to lose durability on your weapon. I think it's one point at a time, one percentage point at a time. So you're going to want to have redundancy built into your equipment. Take button. Food. Ground. Seven. Now there are seven food in the ground. That's very important. You're going to want to take all that food in the beginning. Yes, your bag's going to get a little full, but that's fine. You can always bring it back to your storage. Now, sometimes you can store things. After you die, they'll be there. But sometimes they don't wind up being there. And that's where the corruption of your storage save slots and things happen why i don't know but again don't expect things to be there where you left them your best bet is to try to beat it as best you can beat the game if you can but don't always expect to get any breaks when you restart this is very roguelike um but it's hardcore roguelike so when you die a lot of times the things that you've saved up will be gone or lost or degraded. So uh, maybe you'll get lucky and it'll still be there. So there's a lot of, there. as I said, there's a lot of variance there. There's a lot of randomness. Equip two. Drop one food button. As you can hear, you can drop food. You can pick up the food. Take button. Torch. Ground one. <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
torches are very important. These are the things that light up caves and dark places. You cannot enter a place that is dark. Why, I don't know. I don't get why we just can't walk into a dark place, but no, our character's not able to. It's an RPG mechanic, and it kind of has a lot to do with the dark room. It's kind of a homage to that game. So yeah, you need torches to enter unlit places. So. You're going to need to carry torches and they don't stack. So get ready to be very frustrated with that aspect. Equip zero. Drop one torch button. We also have a torch in our inventory. Continue. I button. guess. All right. Um, continue button. You can hit continue and you'll pop back out into the basic house menu. So let's take what we have here. Drop one. Equip torch. Take. Drop one food. Equip food. Take button. Knife durability. Take button. Take all loot. Button. We'll go ahead and take, take all, all loot. loot. Equipment. Bag. Current weight. 105 out of 100. Okay. Did you notice 105 out of 100? So, there's a problem with weight. And weight is something that occurs when your bag is full. So, we're currently 5 over our bag over our weight limit and yes this game uses some very very difficult D, D rules so we can't move if our bag is full so we're going to have to leave some things behind but that's fine we'll come back and grab them on the way back knife durability 53 percent drop button take button food take drop knife take all loot loot e loot equipment bag 105 out of 100 total capacity items are listed below along with an take all loot knife durability drop but take button. I'm gonna show you what happens if you try to leave. Food. Equip. Drop one food. Take. B torch. Equip. Drop one torch. Continue. Button. Continue. Button. Continue. Can't carry this much. Bag. Can only carry a maximum of 100. All right. As you hear, there is a problem. When you reach your capacity, you've gone over it. You can always go over your capacity, but you can't move. The system will stop you. And it will say, hey, you can't carry that much. You're going to have to put something back. So put back whatever you don't need. Put back redundant items. Put back stuff you don't want. Continue. Button. Drop one torch. Button. Equip. One. Torch. Ground. Zero. Take. Button. Drop one food. Button. I'm going to drop one food. Drop one food. Equipment. Bag. Current weight. 95 out of 100. See, that food was 10 weight. So by just dropping one food, we're now under our weight. We're at 95 out of 100. I would suggest keep torches. Torches are more valuable than food. Food is common. Torches are maybe, I would consider them uncommon. Take, button, All right. torch, equip, drop one torch, continue, button. Let's continue. Water replenished. All right, after you have finished looting, you'll get a message and you'll hear that your water's be, been replenished. It's very important because you don't, you can't take water with you. I guess you drink it and you're good. Why we wouldn't carry a water bottle, I don't know. But we do have a water bottle, but it's not really talked about, but we do store water. Okay, button. Okay. Okay, water replenished. Water replenished. Okay, button. And then you got this pop up. You're going to just want to double tap the OK button. Two finger double tap. Magic tap for map. Navigation controls to move north, south, east, and west located at the bottom. Swipe right to navigate to them. Okay. Once you've finished, you can go about doing some more explorers. Now, what you could do is you could go back to the swamp and drop off some food, or you can continue to explore. It's really up to you. So what I think we're gonna do is go back up to that other house and see what they've got. You also can maybe encounter monsters, so be careful. They're random, like typical RPG games. Monster fights are random, you never know. There are, so are, are some monsters that walk along the world map. They're always gonna be kind of towed to you where they are. These monsters are very powerful. You're gonna to wanna to avoid them they will try to kill you and uh, again these are strong monsters the monsters that you fight are pretty much ranked low closer to your starting zone now as you move outward in different larger circles or squares this is called squares you're going to get stronger and stronger monsters if you encounter a monster 
You have to, I do believe you have to fight it. I don't believe you can flee. I may be wrong. Again, it's been a while since I've played. Now, the world monsters that walk around, you can avoid them, but they are just as fast as you are. But yeah, you can walk fat you can walk away from them so if you don't want to fight a larger monster that's walking on the surface and you'll hear the information it'll say this creature is 10 spaces north away from you it will come after you it just say clicks clicks which like kilometers i guess they're trying to say so you can always move away from those creatures now once you get strong enough you're going to want to engage the stronger creatures that are walking around the map but be careful, some of them are incredibly powerful. Just before I started to play, I was flushing out my old corrupted save slot. And there was like a creature with 666 hit points that attacked me. And I only have 25 hit points, so it's ridiculous. Um, again, there's some very wonky things that go on with the ranking of creatures if you've been playing for a while this game has a very strange narrative number one with the amber roll. number two it has a very strange way of increasing difficulty monsters will get stronger and if you die you just go back to being who you are you get weaker they get stronger no matter what why i don't know so again it's a challenge uh you can start all over again and restart from the beginning um, sometimes that will reset the monster difficulty, sometimes it will not. Again, this is old school RPG, so extremely difficult principles at work here. Status, button, move north, magic tap for map, button. All right, so let's find out where everything is. Swipe, water, 10 units, world, heading, water, 10 units, food, 8 units. Hit points, 25 of 25. Compass, points northeast. Unexplored, five clicks north. So unexplored, five clicks north. Again, unexplored means there's nothing there, but you haven't been there. The key is to explore every part of the world. Unexplored, three clicks south. So there's an unexplored place, three clicks south. Unexplored, three clicks east. Unexplored, three clicks west. Swamp. Two clicks north. And there's where we started, the swamp. Cave, two clicks west. And if we go west, there's a cave. Caves are another place you'll get a refill of water, and there's usually treasures. But be careful, caves are little mini dungeons, so be careful. They also have branching pathways. that can be quite difficult, but predictable. So a lot of these spots are predictable. A lot of the, the dungeons are linear, so it's not incredibly difficult to figure out what to do but beating it is a different matter altogether okay two clicks south okay we have another cave two clicks south we could pop there house one click north two clicks east okay so that's the house we passed we could hit that on the way back so because we're going to want to drop off some of this food so what i think we will do is go back hit that house drop off our food at the swamp and then go out again and yes you have to store this food in your storage that's the only way you can survive because you're going to get to a point where you don't have food so let's just hunt and gather right terrain house one click north two clicks east terrain all right let's get out of this map you can scrub to get out of the map i think unexplored th unexplored th unexplored th close map Button. No, no, no. Okay. It's four finger tap the close map. I do believe you used to be able to scrub to get out of the map. Two finger double tap. Magic tap. Status. Button. Move north. Magic tap for map. Let's Button. go north. Move north. Magic. New landmarks. Water. Nine units. Food. Seven units. Hit points. 25 of 25. Compass. Points northeast. Unexplored. Four clicks north. Unexplored. Four clicks south. Unexplored. Three clicks east. Unexplored. Three clicks west. Swamp. One click north. Outpost. One click south. House. Two clicks east. K. One click south. Two clicks west. K. Three clicks south. Terrain. Forest. One click west. Forest. One click south. Forest. One click east. Fields. One click south. One click east. Barons. Three clicks north. All right. You heard something new, correct? Outposts. 
Whenever you discover a house, um, whether it's friendly or hostile, and once you conquer it, loot it, it becomes an outpost. And I do believe outposts will always be there. And they're kind of like a landmark, a friendly landmark that you can go to and refill your water. You're going to need to know where these landmarks are so that you can move farther and farther out from your primary base or the swamp. So that's the only way you can do it in this game because you are strictly tethered to whether or not you have water and food. So you can leave those landmarks with supplies. So treat them like bases and you know, you get the gist of it, right? Okay, we're gonna go to that house at the east. Move west, magic, move south, Ma move east, magic tap for map, button, move east, magic tap, water, eight units, food, seven units, hit points, 25 of 25, compass, points northeast, unexplored, three clicks north, unexplored, three clicks south, unexplored, three clicks east, unexplored, four clicks west, house, one click east, swamp, one click north, one click west, outpost, one click south, one click west, Kate, one click south, three clicks west, Kate, three clicks south, one click west, terrain, forest, one click west, forest, one click north, forest, one click east, fields, one click south, barrens, three clicks north, one click west. All right, so you might have noticed something called the compass and it points in a direction and your compass can point in a diagonal direction. Again, a lot of these things I've never noticed, but I've noticed now because I'm paying attention to the voiceover information. So yeah, can you travel diagonally by accident? The game decides to let you say you're traveling diagonally. I'm pr pretty sure you can. Again, there's a lot of secrets and you're gonna wanna pay attention to your compass and your cardinal direction movement. If you're not sure, you can move back and forth, but remember, you're also counting down your food and your water. We're gonna go east one more, once more, one more click, and we should reach the house. Move east, magic tap for map, button. Move east, an old house. There we go. I think of this game in horizontal planes and vertical planes. That's how I keep it in my head spatially. An old house remains here. Once white siding yellowed and peeling, the door hangs open. Go inside. Let's go Button. inside. Go inside. An old house. The house is abandoned, but not yet picked over. Still a few drops of water in the old well. All right, so we'll get our water back. But, and don't forget, there can be monsters, there can be survivors, there can be problems, and there can be nice loot in these places. Loot. Button. Loot. Let's go Button. ahead and loot. Loot. Equipment. Bag. 85 out of 100 total capacity. Items are listed below, along with an option to leave, or take the item. Option to continue, or run away. Located at the very bottom of the screen. Take all loot. Button. Take. Button. Knife durability. 60%. Okay, there's another knife here. Now, we don't really need food, but you will need to get yourself a couple of spare knives. What I would do is grab as many as you can and bring them back to your storage at the swamp. Knife durability. 53%. You can also leave them here. Drop, button, take, button. Food, ground, eight. Equip, seven. Drop one food, button, take, button. Torch, ground, one. There's one torch there. Torches are more important than weapons, but you need a weapon, or else you're gonna be punching with your fist, which, which isn't very efficient. So I have a, I could probably leave a food behind and grab this torch and grab this weapon. Equip, one, drop one torch, button, continue, button, drop one, equip, torch, take, drop one food, equip, food, take, drop, button, knife durability, 53%, drop, button, knife, knife durability, take, button, take all loot, button, take, button, knife durability, 60%, take, button, let's take that take. knife, equipment, bag, current weight, 95 out of 100, I think we took that, knife durability, 53%, that's our first knife. Drop, button, take, button, food, ground, eight, take, drop, button. Oh, I think it wouldn't, it doesn't let us have more than one knife. Okay, okay. So we took the 60% knife, it swapped it. Okay, so that's another thing I forgot. It's a very hardcore game. Knife durability, drop, knife durability, 60%, take all loot, button, knife durability, 60%. Yes. So, yes, take the higher durability weapon always drop button knife durability 53 percent drop button take 
Button. Food. Ground. Eight. Equip. Seven. Drop one food. Button. Uh, we're gonna drop one food. Drop one food. And Equipment. Bag. Grab Current that weight. torch. 85 out of 100. Take. Button. Torch. Ground. One. Equip. One. Drop one torch. Button. Continue. Drop one. Equip. One. Torch. Ground. Take. Button. Okay, so the take button is before the item, so it could be a little confusing. Torch. Take. Button. Take. Okay, we have the torch. Torch. Ground. Zero. Once you hear ground and how many are on the ground, zero, you'll know you've picked it up. So it's a little counterintuitive, but it's not too big a deal. Equip. Two. I think I need some more coffee. I need some food. Drop one torch. Button. Continue. Button. All right. Drop one torch. Continue. Button. Okay, continue. Continue. Button. Drop one torch. Button. Continue. Button. Okay, we got everything we can carry, so let's just continue. Drop one. Continue. Button. Water replenished. And then our water is replenished. Okay. Button. Okay. Button. Water replenished. Water replenished. Okay. Button. Two finger double tap. Magic tap for map. Navigation controls to move north, okay. south, east, Be aware. and west located at the bottom. Swipe right Once to navigate to them. Once you say okay, you'll pop out of the place you're in. You can always come back. And remember, these houses will turn into outposts. So let's go back to the Admiral, which is what I say, which is basically our swamp starting point. Let's go back and drop off some of our supplies. We're not going to want to carry all this with us. But remember, keep at least one torch with you. The torches are required for the caves. Status. Button. Move north. Magic tap for map. Button. Move west. Magic tap for map. Button. Another suggestion. Go back the way you came. That's your best bet. I know you can go other directions, but when you're new to the game, keep your pathways simple. Move north. Move west. Magic tap for map. Button. Move west. Magic. New landmarks. Water, nine units. Food, six units. Hit points, 25 of 25. Compass, points northeast. Unexplored, three clicks north. Unexplored, three clicks south. Unexplored, four clicks east. Unexplored, four clicks west. Outpost, one click east. Swamp, one click north. One click west. Outpost, one click south. One click west. House, three clicks east. Cape, one click south. Three clicks west. Cape, three clicks south. One click west. Terrain, forest, one click west. Forest, one click north. Forest, one click east. Fields, one click south. Barons, three clicks north, one click west. Move south, magic tap, move west, move north, move west, magic tap, move west, magic tap, water, eight units, food, five units, hit points, 25 of 25, compass, points northeast, unexplored, four clicks north, unexplored, four clicks south, unexplored, five clicks east, unexplored, three clicks west, swamp, one click north, outpost, one click south, outpost, two clicks east, cape, so did one you click hear, south, move south, did you hear magic that? tap for map, it said Button. swamp, so usually, as I recall, the swamp is the only swamp. So when you hear swamp, that is your home. Ever be it so humble. Move west. Magic. Move north. Magic so if we go map. north, Button. we should immediately enter our home. Now, if you miss it, because you might be off a little bit in your directions and your cardinals, it's okay. Just keep listening to your magic map and you'll find it. Move west. Move north. Magic tap for map. Button. Move. A murky swamp. There we go. When you hear that, a murky swamp, you are home. The Admiral rests beneath a canopy, wincing from the wounds of battle. Okay. Stores. Button. Now, once you come back, if the Admiral's awake and not being weird, you can engage with the Admiral, hear more information, lore, story. Again, I have an extensive playthrough of this game on the Prime Channel game. That's G-A-M-E. But here we're creating a whole new story, so we'll have our own playlist. Of course, thank you very much. Uh, I check out the art. The artist's information and, and details and description are found in my description. But there's a really, really cool thumbnail. So it's really... I've already kind of uh, talked about it in the beginning of the video. So what we're going to do here is drop off our food let's drop off our food cook three flesh button we can also cook food flesh um, now you might want to say why are we eating flesh well that's a mystery 
what do you why do you what creatures eat flesh think about it so <laughs> there's some interesting story and in lore here Lee button Lee cook stores button let's go to the stores stores and drop off some of this stuff a murky swamp supplies will be safe here collect button collect button supplies will be safe here a murky swamp supplies will be safe here collect button collect button collect supplies will be safe here I need to put some stuff in here Supplies will be safe. Collect. Sup a murky swamp. A murky swamp. Sup collect. Button. Loot. Equipment. Take all loot. Button. Knife durability. 53%. All right, um, when it says collect, it doesn't just mean pick up stuff. It also means put stuff down. Store. Button. Knife durability. Store. Button. So you got that store button. Knife durability. 60%. Store. Button. Take. Button. Food. Ground. Zero. As you can hear, there's nothing on the ground. Equip. Five. Store one food. Button. And now we can store food. Take. Button. Torch. Ground. Zero. Equip. Two. I have two torches. I can put one here. Store one torch. Button. I want to store one torch. Store one torch. Equipment. Bag. Current weight. 75 out of 100. You can't carry everything, so you got to store stuff. Continue. Button. Store. Equip. One. Torch. Take. Store one food. Equip. Food. Ground, zero. Take, button, store, button. Knife durability, 60%. Store, button. Take, button. Again, I could leave that knife here and we can go back to the other outpost and grab that knife. So that's a great strategy. Leave yourself a weapon. You will thank me later. Food, ground, so we zero. are we are going to leave our knife here. We don't really need a knife. There's no enemies really attacking us right now. So let's take advantage of this early game break. Take, button, store, button, knife durability, 60%. Store, Let's button. go ahead and store, store that knife. Equipment, bag, current weight, 65 out of 100. Knife durability, 60%. Take, button, food, ground, zero. Equip, five. Store one food, button. Let's store... Store one food. Equipment. Bag. Current weight. 55 out of 100. Equip. Store one food. Button. Uh, I swipe back to the left and then back to the right to hear information. Sometimes if your voiceover is focused on the element, you can just double tap it again. Equip. Store one food. Button. Store one food. Equipment. Bag. Current weight. 45 out of 100. All right. I'm going to drop my food all the way down to two because I know exactly where that house is. Equip. Three. Store one food. Button. And Store one food. Don't want to go Equipment. too Bag. low. Current weight. 35 out of 100. Don't go too low. Don't drop your weight down too low. I mean, don't drop too much food. You got to survive. Because if you die, you could lose some of these things you're finding. Take. Button. Torch. Ground. One. Equip. Torch. Take. Store one food. Equip. Two. Food. Ground. Three. There you can hear it. So if you want to know what's on the ground, just go back and forth and it'll tell you. So once you've got everything done, and I think we're done, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go back to that outpost and collect our extra weapon. You only can have one, it seems. I think you could have one of each kind of weapon. So you're allowed to have a ranged weapon. You're allowed to have a melee weapon. You're allowed to have a... Yeah, there's actually some pretty fantastic weapons. You're allowed to have a artillery style weapon. <laughs> You're allowed to have a sharp weapon, like a katana or a sword of some kind. You're allowed to carry grenades. <laughs> it gets ridiculous. So uh, again, it's very exciting. But again, the weakness is the save corruption is an issue. So what I would suggest is drop off supplies constantly and don't play too long because it can have an issue and um the good thing is it's able to be played on newer phones so if you have an iphone 14 or 15 i'm playing on a 13 so you should be able to play it on a 14 or 15 but don't quote me all right um yeah what i want to do here is just complete this episode because this is more of a tutorial I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here. I'm kind of giving you all the gist of what we're doing. You have a bare knowledge of what you need to do. Um, I, I feel like I'm gonna stop right here now, make this part one. I'll come back in part two 
do some more explores and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? So that's it for us for part one of the Ensign. Hope you're liking it and I hope you are gonna enjoy it. If you have some comments, suggestions, tips, tricks, whatever you wanna say, that sounds great. Spam the comments, I love when you guys do that. Much love to all of you. Keep gaming and keep double tapping and I'll hear you soon, okay? Take care.